so this is efficiency continued. Now, if we're looking at efficiency from a graphical perspective, well, it's the point where the marginal cost curve and the marginal benefit curve, whatever that marginal cost or that marginal benefit happened to be, by the way, because a marginal cost to an individual might be lost revenue and might be tuition fees or the actual cost of a product, whereas a marginal cost to a business might be employee cost, overhead cost, and other things like that. And the marginal benefit for an individual could be the utilities that they get, the joy that they get from something. And we can interpret that in terms of dollar amounts by asking them what's the maximum that you'd be willing to pay. So anyways, when the marginal cost and the marginal benefit curves cross each other, that is the efficient point. Output is at an efficient level when marginal cost equals marginal benefit. Now, the question is, why? Well, here's the thing. So in the case where your marginal cost are greater than your marginal benefit, which is essentially anything in this region, see here, marginal costs are up here, marginal benefits are down here. So in this case, that means that the maximum that you're willing to pay for, in this case, let's say, pizzas per day versus what it actually cost you in terms of all the different costs you can think of for pizza, the actual going to the pizza restaurant, the cost in terms of your time, the cost in terms of the stomach real estate, what you could be eating instead of pizza, all these different things, those costs are greater than the benefit. So if the costs are greater than the benefit, then you definitely don't want to produce it. But what if the costs are less? So at this point, all of this stuff here to the left of this efficient point, the costs are less than the benefit. But if the costs are less than the benefits, then it's essentially costing you less than what you're willing to pay. So that means for each unit that you choose to consume and buy, you're willing to pay this much, it's costing you this much. So in that case, why not? Even if the costs are rising and it's costing you this much, if you're willing to pay this much, then you're going to buy it again. If your costs are here and you're willing to pay this, you're going to continue to buy. Why not? It, overall, it's to your benefit. And you're going to continue to do that until the cost to you are equal to the benefit to you. You won't go any higher where the costs are greater than the benefit, and you wouldn't go any lower because you just keep increasing until you got to that point where they're equal. And that's why the efficient point is essentially where the marginal costs are equal to the marginal benefit. Good luck.